Hi. I'm Arun Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Sai with the Institute of Technology. So in this session, I'll be discussing one of the tests which can be used to check the convergence and our divergence nature of an infinite series that is Cauchy's root test. So let us start with the definition of a Cauchy root test. If sigma un is a series of positive term and if limit n tends to infinity un power one by n is equal to l, a finite number, then the Cauchy root test says the series given is convergent if the value of L is less than one, divergent if the value of L is greater than one, and this test fail, suppose the value of L is equal to one. So this is the condition of Cauchy root test in order to say the given infinite series, a series of positive terms is convergent or divergent. So if the limiting value of the nth term, power one by n is less than one, I can say that the series is convergent to certain value. The divergent, if it is more than unity, and if L is equal to one, that means the limit of this one is one, then the Cauchy root test fails to say the series is convergent or divergent. So while solving the problems on Cauchy root test, we need to remember certain basic concepts. So the first one is this test, Cauchy root test, can be applied when the nth term, un, the general term, is in the form of f of n over g of n. Means if you have a function of n whose power is also a function of n, like n power n, like that, I can apply the Cauchy root test to solve a problem. So this is the way of identifying which uh, test is applicable to check the convergence or divergence of an infinite series. So Cauchy root test condition is this. If this condition satisfied, I can apply a Cauchy root test to check whether the series is convergent or divergent. And here, while solving a problem, we may use certain standard limits. So the first standard limit here is limit n tends to infinity, n power one by n, x value was one. Next limit n tends to infinity, one plus x by n power n, its value is e power x. See, suppose if I put x is equal to one in the second limit, we get limit n tends to infinity, one plus one by n power n. So it becomes e power one and e power one is e, and approximately the value of e is 2.718. So these are certain standard limits I may use while solving certain problems on Cauchy root test. So this is how we can define Cauchy root test condition and some basic concepts of Cauchy root test. Now let us see how we can use this Cauchy root test to check the convergence or divergence nature of a given infinite series through certain problems. So I'll start with the first problem. So the problem number one, test the convergence of the series Sigma n is equal to one to infinity, n plus one divided by n over n square into one by three power n. So this is a problem given. So uh, let us see how to apply the Cauchy root test for this and how to examine the nature of this infinite series. So solution, let sigma u n so the nth term, the series given here is, it is sigma n is equal to one to infinity, n plus one divided by n power n square into one by three power n. So this is a given series, I'll take it as sigma un, and on comparison, I can say that the value of un, the nth term is this one. So this implies un equals, it is n plus one power n, 1 plus 1 divided by n power n square into 1 by 3 power n. So this is the value of un for this problem. Right. And you can observe that here the nth term is in this form. See, this is a function of n, n plus 1 by n. It is something like f of n. It is a function of n. Power n square. So this power is also a function of n. So it is 
this is function of n its power is also a function of n means it is in the form of the note one f of n power g of n and as we discussed if any term the any nth term is in this form f of n power g of n n power n form so i can apply this cauchy root test to solve a problem so this is how we can identify the method because in the problem they are not specified solved by using cauchy root test so we have to identify which root test is applicable which uh, test is applicable to examine the nature of the uh, series and the way of identifying will be done like this if the function is in this form f of n power g of n i can apply cauchy root test to check the nature so this is a problem belongs to cauchy root test so let us apply this procedure and solve the problem means let us calculate the limit of this un power 1 by n and we will see whether that is less than 1 or more than 1 so depending on that we can conclude the series is convergent divergent like that so let us calculate the limit of cauchy root test consider limit n tends to infinity limit n tends to infinity limit n tends to infinity it is un power 1 by n so this is equal to it becomes limit n tends to infinity you know un is it is n plus 1 divided by n power n square into 1 by 3 power n so this term all raised to the power of 1 by n so un un is this power 1 by n apt so let us simplify this this is equal to limit n tends to infinity so i can split this i can take this as n plus 1 divided by n power n square whole power 1 by n it is n plus 1 divided by n power n square uh, all raised to the power of 1 by n into this is 1 by 3 power n whole raised to the power of 1 by n so the terms is something like a by b uh, a into b power m so it can be written as a power m into b power m like that so now if you observe so this n cancels with this and here one n gets cancelled so i can rewrite this as see the second term here nn gets cancelled so i'll get i just a number here 1 by 3 a numerical so uh, this is free from n i'll take it outside so it is 1 by 3 into limit n tends to infinity n tends to infinity now if you look at this one so here one n gets cancelled so i get n plus 1 by n Over n, but for simplification purpose, what I'm going to write is, so I'll write this as n by n plus one by n. See so here, this is n by n plus one by n. Over here, one n gets cancelled, so another n will be n. And coming to the first term, this n n gets cancelled, so we get this is one by three limit n tends to infinity. It is one plus 1 by n power n right 1 by 3 limit n tends to infinity this term was 1 1 plus 1 by n power n and according to the standard limit so we know that you can see the third standard limit limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n power n is nothing but e and the value of e is 2.718 so if i put this value here we get we get this is nothing but l the left hand side is nothing but l l is equal to It is e divided by three. That is two point seven one eight divided by three. So if I simplify this, uh, you know two point seven one eight divided by three is something like point something. So this is obviously it should be less than one. Plus two point seven one eight by three is zero point something. So it is less than one. And according to the statement of Cauchy root test, if l value is less than one, so I can say that the series is convergent. so therefore the series the series is convergent convergent so this how we can uh, examine or uh, the check the convergence or divergence nature of a given infinite series using cauchy root test so this is a common procedure for every problem the only thing we should observe is whether the problem is in this form f of n power g of n so if it is in this form compute this limit limit n tends to infinity un power 1 by n 
And if we calculate the limiting value of that, if it is less than one, it is convergent. If it is more than one, I can say that it is divergent. So in the same way, we solve uh, another one or two problems to understand the Cauchy root test better. I'll just move to the second problem. Problem two. Test the convergence, convergence of one by two plus two by three into X plus three by four whole square X square plus four by five whole cube, x cube, and so on. So this is the problem given here. So let us see uh, which test is applicable here. Cauchy's are some other test. And if Cauchy root test is applicable for this problem, let us see how to solve it. Now here, the given series, I'll take it as sigma un, the summation series is nothing but it is one by two plus two by three into x plus next is three by four whole square, x square plus four by five whole cube, x cube and so on. So I'll write the nth term of this one. So this implies sigma un equals. So the nth term of this series will be written like this. So here all these terms successively contains x and this is free from x. I can put it as x power zero, no issues, but uh, in, since it is an infinite series, so I can write the nth term in this uh, way also. And uh, if I vary n from zero to infinity, the first term will also cover. So I'll just take it like this. I'll leave the first term. I'll leave the first term. And by looking at second, third, fourth, and all, I'll write the general term. So if you look at the second term, so the number will start like this, numerator two, three, four, et cetera. There's something like this, the numerator. 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, etc. The general term is, you know, it becomes n plus 1. Right. So it is just like this. A is nothing but 2. Common difference D is nothing but 3 minus 2. That is 1. So if we calculate the nth term Tn, it is A plus n minus 1 into D. So it becomes 2 plus n minus 1. So it gives n plus 1. This is the way of finding the nth term of the series. So I have applied the procedure for this uh, numerator 2, 3, 4. So the numerator becomes. I can write like the summation. It is n plus one divided by denominator. So denominator, if you observe, it is three, four, five. In the same way, if you take three, four, five, then a becomes a three first term. The common difference is four minus three, it is one. If you apply this formula, a plus n minus one into d, so the denominator becomes n plus two, n plus two. And here, if you observe, this is x, x square, x cube, x power four, and so on. So the general term will be x power n. So this is how we can write the nth term of the series. See, 2, 3, 4 is nothing but n plus 1. 3, 4, 5, etc. is nothing but n plus 2. x, x square, x cube, it gives x power n. So here, if you take summation from 1 to infinity, it will start from here. If I take summation from 0 to infinity, it will cover the first term also. It will cover... The first term also you can say here n is equal to zero to infinity means what? If I put n is zero, this becomes one. Zero means it is, is two. So it is one by two. X power zero. X power zero is one. So I get one by two into one. That gives one by two, which was the first term here. So if you look at second term onwards and if you write nth term and then the summation, if you take from first, it will hold school. So uh, it is only for the purpose of writing a general term in the easiest way. I've taken, I've just left the first term and taken the terms from second one onwards and written the nth term. So this is the nth term here. And on comparison, you can say that un for this problem is, it is n plus one divided by n plus two into x power n. So this is the nth term of, uh, nth term of the given infinite series. Oh, sorry, one more thing is missed here. So here the power is one, here the power is two, here the power is three. So the general term is power is n. Here one term is missed, sorry. 
So this power is n here, right? So here 2 by 3 power 1, 3 by 4 power square, 3 by 4 by 5 power whole cube. So here also power n is there. So un is, it is n plus 1 by n plus 2 power n into x. So this is the nth term of the series given. Now, if you observe this un, so this is in the form of f of n. This is the function of n. Power g of n. Here also n. See, here also function of n is there. And in power form also, the function of n is there. So it is in the form of this one. f of n power g of n. So once it is in the form of f of n power g of n, and you know that you can apply Cauchy root test to solve that problem. So let us apply Cauchy root test to solve this. So this is how we can identify the method. So now to apply Cauchy root test, you know, you have to consider the limit condition of Cauchy root test. That is L equals, it is limit n tends to infinity un power 1 by n. So which is nothing but limit n tends to infinity. You know, un here is, it is n plus 1 by n plus 2 power n. So whole raised to the power of 1 by n into x power n power 1 by n. Uh, I'm just taking uh, power 1 by n for both the terms. Now let us simplify this. So you can observe here, n n gets cancelled and here also n n gets cancelled. So therefore, this becomes, see this x is free from n now. Since n gets cancelled, it becomes x power 1. So it is free from n and this limit is applicable only with respect to n, n tends to infinity. So this x is independent of n. So I can assume it as a constant and we can take it outside. So it becomes x into limit n tends to infinity. It becomes n plus 1 by n plus 2 power here also n n gets cancelled. So nothing will come. Now here if I substitute a limit the answer will come. But directly I cannot substitute a limit. The reason is if I put n is equal to infinity here it becomes infinity plus 1. That is infinity. And here also infinity plus 2, it becomes infinity. So I get infinity by infinity. And you know infinity divided by infinity is indeterminate form. Infinity by infinity becomes indeterminate form. So I cannot find the limit of this. Then how to find a limit of this? So this can be calculated like this. It is x into limit n tends to infinity. So I can take one n common here. So it becomes... 1 plus 1 by n divided by denominator again in common it is 1 plus 2 by n 2 by n so now this n n gets cancelled n n gets cancelled and uh, if i substitute a limit for this now n is infinity so here it becomes 1 by infinity and you know 1 by infinity is 0 1 by infinity is 0 so, and even the denominator it is 2 by infinity, even that is also 0. So, I get 1 plus 0 in the numerator and denominator also it is 1 plus 0. So, here 2 by infinity it is also 0. So, therefore, we get x into the numerator is 1 plus 0, but denominator is also 1 plus 0. So the answer is L is equal to x. So, I got L is equal to x here and then x is a variable quantity. We don't know what is the value of x. So if I know the value of x, I can conclude the series is convergent, divergent like that. But here, x is a variable quantity. So the nature of this series depends on the value of x. So in the conclusion part, we can just conclude like this. The given series, the given series is convergent, convergent if x less than 1, comma divergent divergent if x greater than 1 and this test and the test fails when x is equal to 1. Right. It depends on the value of x. If the value of x is something like 0.5, I can say it is convergent. If it is 3, I can say it is divergent. And if it is 1, the test failure. So this is how we can test the convergence of this infinite series using the Cauchy root test. So the only uh, thing we need to remember here is once you write the nth term, 
You have to check whether the nth term is in this form, f of n power g of n. A function of n, its power is also a function of n means I can apply the Cauchy root test and find the uh, nature of that infinite series. So in the same way, you can try uh, some problems on Cauchy root test. So in the same way, whatever we have discussed in these two problems, the same thing you can apply for uh, problems also, so other problems also. I just uh, write one or two problems as an exercise. So we can try to apply Cauchy root test to verify the nature of those series. I'll just make out a list of two problems for practice purpose. The first one is test the nature of, test the convergence of all. Test the convergence of the series test the convergence of the series 2 by 1 square into x plus uh, 3 square by 2 cube into x square plus 4 cube by 3 power 4 into x cube and so on. So if you write the general term of this one, easily you can identify that power, see 2, 3, 4 means uh, already we have written 2, 3, 4, n plus 1. 1, 2, 3 means n. So the numerator itself, you get n plus 1 power n. So n plus 1 power n means the function power function is also n means I can apply Cauchy root test. Easily you can guess, even though the method is not mentioned here. So easily you can uh, observe that this is a problem belongs to Cauchy root test. So in the same way, uh, you can try out this problem uh, using Cauchy root test. One more problem, I'll write. Uh, this one, uh, discuss, discuss the convergence, convergence of the series, of the series uh, 2 square by 1 square minus 2 by 1 power minus 1 plus 3 cube divided by 2 cube minus 3 by 2 power minus 2 plus 4 power 4 by 3 power 4 minus 4 by 3 power minus 3 and so on. So this is also a problem where you can apply Cauchy root test and uh, check whether the series is convergent or uh, divergent or whether the test fails according to the conditions of Cauchy root test. Thank you.